All right, it's John. We're back up here in New Hampshire. As you can see, it's raining. It's been raining off and on for six weeks since I got here. No, two months now I've been here, and it's been raining at least seven of those weeks. So there haven't been a lot of yard sales, but I have been hitting my favorite thrift store. I've gone there four times. Two times I bought Zippo, and the other two times I got some really, really good stuff. So let me show you what it was. All right, so let me show you what we got on those two stops. I bought these five baseball bats. I had them at $10 a piece, and I said, well, if I take all five, how much of it, what kind of deal can I get on them? And they said $35, and I knew they were good bats. One of the things I like about bats is almost every bat has a model number on it, so it's really easy to tell what they've been selling for. These first three, the Combat, the Eastern, and the True 2, are all selling in the $50 to $80 range. This DeMarini is selling for $50 plus or minus with shipping. And this one here, I found this uh, DeMarini Vendetta, I found it's only selling in the $20 to $30 range. So that's what I'm just going to bring to the flea market for $10. And that's the original price tag they had on it at the thrift store. I just left that on there and put FM so I know where it's going. Anyway, so that was $35 for those bats. I bought this Craftsman tool set. I don't even know how many pieces are in there. They had it at $100. And seriously, I was thinking about it because it would replace at least $100 worth of tools. And I think that's what's going to end up happening with this is I'm going to replace tools that I have in my toolboxes and just upgrade them with, with this set. It's all Craftsman. It's all USA made. So I'm thinking about it at 100 And I go back and I see that they've Marked it down to 45. I just grabbed it right away. Now, one of the things I want to point out in here is that this was sitting in the bottom. This flexible SK ratchet set, SK. And again, tools with numbers, you got to love that. I looked this one up and one sold on eBay for $40 with shipping. So if I just sell that on $40, I got five bucks into this. And I'll take at least $100 worth of tools out of my boxes and sell them. So we're going to make $100 on that anyway. New old stock. Here's a bunch of it. I'm always looking for old ink cartridges. If they're current, and again, they have numbers on them, so they're super easy to look up. These are all sealed. So this lot of seven, I can easily sell for 100 These are selling for... You know, $20 a piece, some of them, and I think this big black one sells for more like 30 So that's an easy, that's $100 worth right there. I'll set someone up with ink for quite a while. Here's another set, the 951XL in the color. The three, you have the three colors and the 950. Can't see it, but that's the 950XL. That's the black one. And I can sell that set of four for 25 plus or minus. Blank VHS tapes. We buy these whenever we see them. We put them together in lots. And depending on which ones they are, you get about $2 a piece with shipping in lots. Not a lot of money, but they're they're always cheap. This this lot of five was just $1. So it's not gonna, it's going to be hard to go wrong using that in a lot. Again, cassette tapes too. You've seen in the past, some cassette tapes are worth quite a bit of money. These are not the ones, these are again worth about $2 a piece in big lots. But this whole package was a dollar at this thrift store. They sell cassette tapes for $0.10. Cents. So over the two trips that I took, I picked up 30 other cassette tapes for $10 a piece. You can see some of the names here. Uh, mostly I'm going for the rock and roll and blues. Some female vocalists. There's some blues right here. Some more rock and roll. Then we get up into the, I don't, I don't even know if this is a punk genre or whatever it is, or, or heavy metal. I don't know a whole lot about the 80s music. I'm more 70s. Anyway, I know this stuff sells because I recognize the names. And for 10 cents a piece, these are these are good for 2 to $3 a piece in lots. Right there for us, there's 30 of them. So that's 60 to $75 in lots for my $3 investment. I always check the, the, the media there. Again, specific nonfiction when we're looking for books. So this thrift store, they sell books for 50 cents. And these three, this three volume set, I believe there's four in the volume. I can't find any for sale anywhere. Uh, maybe one paperback here or there. 
I think it was probably a very limited production run and they're all signed by the author so again I can't find any anywhere so I can kind of set my price and I'm figuring I'm gonna set that price at around two hundred dollars for those cost me a dollar fifty I bought this antenna universal antenna mount I hold a pretty big antenna and one sold for forty dollars plus shipping and there were no others for sale at this time got this Vintage, oh, that, that was $2. And same with this vintage bingo ball cage. This was another $2. They're selling in the $25 to $50 range. So I'm calling it a 30 plus or minus. It's got a bunch of balls in there. I still have to count them. I don't know how many are supposed to be there. But anyway, that was a pretty good find for $2. I like that for $2. I'm always looking at their clothes. I got this pair of Tristan dress pants, new with tags. And if you see... It's $119 retail. Hard to pass that up for $2. Rule of thumb is you can get about 25 to 35% of retail value. So we can get $30 or $40 for these on eBay typically. This is this was kind of a surprise. They don't usually have things priced so high. They had these. These are Allen. Let me show you the, the brand. These are Allen Edmonds. They're US made shoes. They're really high end, high quality. We've had them before in the past. And if you can see, these are in excellent condition, barely worn. Always check the check the soles, and you can see there's no wear on the toes, really no wear on the heels, just a little dust on the bottoms. So anyway, they had these at $25, which is unusual for them. And I was pretty sure I was going to buy them. I looked them up, and the last pair that sold like these on eBay sold for $225. Uh, these are four or five hundred dollars new, so they're really nice quality shoes. So anyway, that's that's a couple of hauls from my favorite thrift store. I really do have thrift store pricing, as you can see. So hopefully, this you know, information will give you some ideas of what to look out for. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hitting the little bell and you'll be notified when we put up more. So here's kind of the breakdown I usually do. I spent, in the two stops, I spent $122.50. And like I just outlined here, I got eleven to $1,200 worth of inventory. Some really neat stuff and a lot of new stock. I love that. I like it when I've got $200 items to sell. You make money quicker that way. Anyway, hope you're enjoying the videos. Please leave a comment. Like I said before, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll know when we put up another one. All right, thanks for your time and watching.